guys, today is Friday, July 16th. It is about 8 a.m. or so. I am getting ready to head out to my school this morning. I actually have the kickoff to my new teacher orientation for my new school today, so it is from 10 to 12. So I decided that I'm gonna actually go to my school for it. It's online, so I can do it from home. However, they do want us to have access to all of our curriculum and stuff, and I didn't feel like lugging all that home. So I'm gonna head to my school, plus it's some free time in my classroom. I'm gonna head to my school, I'll get there a little bit early, and then at 10 o'clock I'm gonna start my new teacher thing. It's only a two hour session, and then after today we have like, things to do on our own, like different modules and stuff to work through, so I only have to meet on Google Meet today, but then after that the rest of it will be like asynchronous, so I'll probably stay in my classroom for a good bit today though. I have done a good bit in my classroom since the last time I showed you guys. I have uploaded about six, I think, um, setup days so far, and the last couple times that I went in there, they were kind of like days where I was meeting with teammates and I just happened to have some time to get some stuff done, like just kind of very like sporadic. So I didn't plan to vlog those days, but I did get some things done. So I'm gonna show you everything that I've done since then. Things have changed a lot and we will see what I can tackle today. So it's about 9.53 right now. It's almost time for me to log on to my synchronous session. Um, I think while they're like doing introductions and stuff, I'm gonna sit here in my library and I'm working on labeling books with numbers it's for each bin. So each book bin that I have has a number so that the kids know which bin to put it back into when they're finished with it. Um, and I just think it's gonna be an easy way to organize them. The past two years of teaching, I've wanted to do this, but it's just never happened. So this year it's going to happen. So I'm on the first bin out of like, I think I have about 35, so it might take me a while. So we're going to sit here and just write some numbers while we are listening. two hours later and I'm finally finished with my library for today there are a couple bins that I was not able to get um, labeled I haven't done the three bins up there and then this bin is kind of empty still it has some books in it right now but they're not gonna stay there and then I think I have that bin and one more of my picture book bins but I ran out of stickers so I can't do any more today but I'm very proud that I got that much done but wow was that a lot of work so it is about 12.40 right now. I am going to show you a couple of the things that I did around my room while you guys were not with me last time. All right, so I know it's gonna look a little bit messy right now, but this is what my room is looking like at the moment. Um, I'll show you some of the big things that I've done. So I haven't really done much with my cart still. Um, I need to organize this stuff on it. However, I did go ahead and put my read-alouds, like teacher read-alouds that I have. This is where I like to keep like my books that I don't really want the kids touching. They're books that I like to read. Maybe they're hardcover and they're nice, stuff like that. I'll put them like up so the kids can't reach them and they're stuff that I can read to them. Um, some of them I might have multiple copies of so they might have access to some in the library but I just like to keep a copy that's clean for me. So those are up here. This basket is not gonna stay here. This is just like my fun things. Um, I will have a thing coming that I'm gonna store that stuff in so that will move eventually. I did go ahead and make, you might have seen this on Instagram, I swear so many people are doing it, but like little lucky ducks where you put student numbers or names on the ducks and then this is how you draw at random kids names. So I'm gonna make a vinyl thing that says lucky ducks and I thought that'd be really cute. I got a big pack from Amazon for super cheap. A really nice big change was that I had a whole bunch of curriculum books, like stacks on stacks up here that we are no longer using, so they let us get rid of them. So now I have all this extra space to store stuff. So I just kind of have bins sitting up here, um, but nothing too different than before. It's just that now I have more room to spread them out. Underneath of my whiteboard, you can kind of see that I put up my word wall. The letters I just got from TPT, and I think they're really cute. I love the little boho rainbow theme going on that everyone loves this year because I like the colors in it. So I just went ahead and cut out all of the letters. And then using my Cricut, I cut out the word wall sign um, with vinyl. And then this is actually just like glitter paper. Also with my Cricut, I cut out the word champs so that I can have that displayed up here. I finally made headers for my bulletin boards. This is my reading one. I used my Cricut to cut everything out. I did the same thing for my math one. And then science and social studies are back here just on the board and they are in pink. 
I went ahead and made my birthday wall so I'm a little sad because the happy birthday part is kind of hard to see but I don't feel like messing with it now so I did just cut out these little rainbow um, months and then I'll hang up the kids names underneath of it when I know when their birthdays are. I also went ahead and made my little job chart. I'm going to have 28 students so each job is going to have two kids doing it at a time because I'm not going to monitor that many jobs. Um, so I made this little thing that says what's your job using my Cricut and then I cut out and printed out these little job cards from TPT. I'm still missing a couple down here that I have to make because they are going to be different than what the TPT one had, um, but I need to make them still. <laughs> something a little crazy and I'm probably going to be upset with myself <laughs> for doing this but my alphabet which you guys saw in a couple um, setup vlogs ago there it is up here um, I put up here above my library on a bulletin board like strip that I have and it's the longest one that I have in my room but there's space on both ends still like my alphabet doesn't need that much space so what I'm thinking about doing is taking it down and actually making that like my student work area so I'm right now using um the little clothes pins I have two sets from the target dollar spot I have these ones that are pencils and then I have a set that is an alphabet so I'll have 28 kids so like the whole alphabet plus two just like on the end little pencils I think would look really cute and I think I'm going to need a long strip to do it or else I could use the two shorter strips but I don't know I just feel like having the alphabet and the numbers up front could look kind of like cute together because all my numbers in my alphabet but also we're getting a new alphabet um, supposedly from a new curriculum that we're going to start using for grammar and we don't know what it looks like yet or when it's coming or anything so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take that one down anyway so I guess I'm not that upset about having to take it down but I'm thinking I'm going to do it I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it <laughs> the day I feel very very accomplished I feel like my room is like done and I know that there's still stuff to do but I mean in the sense of like everything is in the place that it's supposed to be there's nothing left like even little odds and ends and I'm like I need to put this away everything has a home and it's just clean and like like I know there's still things to do for the kids but like I feel like the kids could come into this space tomorrow and I would be like totally okay with it they just wouldn't have any supplies or like, you know, <laughs> stuff to learn yet. But the space is ready for them. So that just makes me super excited and just like relieved. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now and then we will get ready to pack up. Okay, so I originally planned on my entire classroom being flexible seating. However, I, number one, don't think that I have enough. And number two, not sure with COVID restrictions, like what kind of stuff we're going to have going on next year. So I'm not even going to plan for it right now. I do want to have some options um, for the kids around the room, but I'm not going to have like their desks be flexible seating choices, at least not at the moment. Um, we'll see if that changes later on, but I've never had 28 kids in a classroom of this size before, so I'm just not quite sure how I want to make it work yet but that's okay because I just decided to put my wobble stools around my small group table and I think I'm also going to add some of these little um cushiony things as well around the small group table and just around the room these are like donut blow up things that I haven't opened um well I opened them but I didn't use them last year but I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use them this year or not I was able to put all of the curriculum books that we're sending home with the kids that we're no longer using in their cubbies. So some of them I have bags, but I ran out of bags, so I'll have to get more bags for the rest of them. But they get to keep all of these books, which is nice because it clears the space out of my classroom, and they have something to read at home. I brought this little cart here um, last year. I kept snacks in it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it this year. It's empty right now, but it's just sitting right there for now. 
I also hung up this with a little command hook. We use this all the time in my classroom before, but you know what? Our floor is carpet now, so I don't know if we'll get as much use out of it, but even just like crumbs on the desk, it's really useful. And I like that the kids can access it because they love to help clean. Something that I do need to do is figure out how to put labels on some of these baskets because these have like holes in them. So my little pockets, like sticky pockets, don't stay on them. As I was talking about that, I realized I have all the things that I need to actually do the labels, so I just did them really fast. So this is how I ended up connecting them. I just punched holes and then put little rings through the holes so that they hang through um, the holes <laughs> in the baskets. I still need to make one more label for Unifix cubes and then that basket just doesn't have anything in it yet. So I'm probably gonna put base 10 blocks in there, um, but I haven't decided 100% yet. You guys already saw that I spent most of my day working on my library and labeling the books with their numbers. I feel so accomplished <laughs> that I got so much of that done. There are a few labels, as you can see, that I still need to add to some bins. Also, I got this really cute lamp from Target in the kids section. I think it's considered like a night light, and I brought the wrong kind of bulb for it, so I can't turn it on, but it is so cute in the library. I think that it really just makes it. And then I also put some bookmarks that I have in a little um, dollar spot tin. And these are ones that I have the kids fill out their interest bookmarks where they can um, aside of like their interest and stuff that they know what kind of books they might want to start out with. I know that it's kind of hard to see but I changed my mind again on how I was going to display student work. Let me see if I can get a little closer to it for you. But I ended up just hanging some twine and then I used the clothespins on the twine. The reason that I did that instead of the um, push pins was because number one the push pins break. I've done it in the past and I know that they don't stay forever and number two I can actually fit more hanging this way and I think that it's cuter so I like the twine a lot it'll be a lot easier to change in and out because you won't have to be so careful with the push pins um, attached to the clothes pins and I think that it looks cute so I did the whole alphabet and then each end I just have a pencil I didn't show you this but the last time I was here this um mailbox system has like green and orange stickers on it with numbers which is fine but I had an extra set of these numbers that I use on their cubbies as well so I just went ahead and stapled them on because I think that they're cute and why not because I have them so I did that to kind of spruce it up a little bit. My teacher area looks pretty much the same it's just very cleaned up now. I have this bookshelf over here that has bins for my Monday through Friday stuff that I'm going to put on there. I need to make labels for those but other than that I don't really have a whole lot of stuff those are just extra bins on there nothing's in them so um, I'm excited to have some extra space right now. So overall, that is pretty much everything that I did today. I feel like I was here forever, but those books took a really, really long time. Um, I think that I might go try to hunt down one of my new coworkers. I believe that she is here bringing stuff in, and I want to go see if I can say hi to her. Just thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of a short one, but putting numbers on those books wouldn't have been a very fun video, so I didn't record very much today. But I'm so happy with the progress that I made today. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and coming along with me, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.